Next up, we're going to talk about one called Align Content. Now, in two videos ago, we looked at one called Justify Content. And what Align Content and Justify Content essentially do is they say, oh, well, gee, I got this extra space, which is the white space here. What do I do with it? How do I divvy it up? Who gets it? Where does it go? It answers all of those questions. So we talked about Justify Content, and we said something like space between and give it a refresh. And what happened there is it took that extra space, which is on the right hand side, and it divvied it up in between. So essentially, you can think of what happens to the extra space on the main access. Again, main access left to right. This is the main access. Uh, we've got another one, which is called a line content. And it also takes the same parameters that justify content flex start, flex end, space between, et cetera, et cetera. So if we set that to space between and refresh, Hmm, it doesn't really do anything for us. So like, what does that property even do if it doesn't actually make anything work? Um, and if we think about justify content, taking the extra space on the main access, left to right, align content takes the extra space on the cross access, top to bottom, and splits it up. So what's our problem here? Well, we don't have any extra space on our vertical access because by default, the items are just going to stretch across. So align content actually only works when we have multiple lines of code. And what it's going to do is if we open this on up, it's going to figure out what do I do with the extra space on the cross access in the vertical one. Do we put it at the sum at the top, sum at the bottom? Do we put it in between each one individually? Do we put them at the top or the bottom? So first thing we need to do before we even get rolling with this align content, I'm just gonna comment that out, is actually get some wrapping. So how did we do that last time in, in one of the first videos? We took the box and we gave it a width of 33.33%, something like that, refresh. Hmm, 33%, that's not 33%. That's just, it figured it out. It just div divvied it up individually. So how did we fix that? Well, we actually, on our con flex container, we did something called flex wrap wrap. And what that will do is it will actually give a true width to our flex items and it will allow us to wrap it around. So align content by default, just like justify content, the default, is something called align content stretch. So you can see that right now uh, the items are just stretching. It's figuring out that we need four rows and we've got all the space of my browser vertically here. So just divvy it up, stretch them across, give each of them kind of like a 25% height. So that's the default, which is something called stretch. Now I could, I could just show you real quick. I make that stretch, refresh, nothing happens. So let's look at the other ones that are available to us. We've got flex start. And what that's gonna do is now the height of them is no longer stretched. The height of them is how, how high are they? They're just taking uh, however much height they could possibly need, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And one kind of a size is, doesn't really have to do with it, but it's kind of interesting. If I took this two and it had a BR and I just did like a happy face, you'll see that two, needs extra room here. So everything that is on the same line as two is going to stretch to be the same height, which is super handy. A lot of times you have to use JavaScript hacks to make sure that your, your columns right here are the same size as the others. Let's just bring that back to where we were. Now we've got all of this extra room right here. So right here, we're only worried about the cross access, which is top to bottom. We've got all this extra room right here. Um, what do we do with it? We could do flex end, put the extra room at the top because you start the items at the bottom. We can do space between, which will put them in between each row. What else? We have space around, and that will put it on the top and in between each one. We talked about this in the other. And then finally, we also have center, which is again, if you are doing uh, a row based layout and you want to vertically center items, this is exactly what you want. You want to be able to say, this is how big my container is. And I want you to just center them vertically in inside of that. 
One other thing we want to uh, maybe do here is like this little straggler here, 10. What if we want to line that in the center? Now you might think like, oh, I'll use uh, text line center on, on the wrapper and, and maybe that will work. So text align center, put that on there, refresh. It doesn't actually get the 10 to go in the middle. Um, so one thing we can do is, well, think back to two videos ago, we can also use justify content. And again, if justify content is the main access left to right and align content is the cross access top to bottom. We can also just set justify content to center. And then we've got perfectly centered. It's centered both horizontally as well as vertically. So that's align content. Again, make sure that you remember the two important things that you first need a some sort of wrap. It needs to wrap, otherwise it doesn't take effect. Uh, and then the other thing is that we are only concerned with the cross access, which by default is top to bottom unless we use flex direction to change that. All right, we'll see you in the next one. We're going to be taking a look at the next one, which is a line self. So, so far we've been doing these container ones where uh, all of them just follow, but what happens if we want just like one of them to sort of overwrite the, the default? So we're gonna be going from our flex container into our flex item and applying some styles there. See you then.